Welcome to today's 3D print. Time for a model showcase. One of my favorite designers of models is uh, somebody named Kijai. K I J A I. This model is available on my mini factory. It's called the Blink Fox. It's beautiful. Uh, he did his in a blue as well, but he painted it and made it look even nicer. It has a very um it has a very soft anime cartoon look going for it that I really like. It's a three-tailed fox. This was printed with CC Tree Sparkling Blue Filament, 25 bucks a kilogram. It's basically a baby blue filament with blue sparkles in it, or glitter. Very nice. And uh, I printed this on the CRX in single color mode, meaning I just sliced it for one color. Um, it's stunning. This is printed with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle at 0.3 millimeter layer height. So this print only took 35 hours, or 37 hours, I'm sorry. It predicted 35 and a half and took um, um, 37, or vice versa. It was right around 35 hours. It was a pretty fast print. A couple of little layer shifts, but those are my fault. I did not screw the nozzle on all the way, so filament was oozing out of the gap between the heat block and the nozzle. Whenever it would drop a blob onto the print, sometimes the nozzle would crash into that and it would ruin the print. But it's a basically a, a cartoonish three-tailed fox. So he has his three tails. And it's a stunning model. 960 grams of filament. I did not use a bottom. You can see the thick, light infill that I used to give it the support it needed. And it came out stunningly well. I'm, I will definitely be ordering more of this filament. It's beautiful. Pretty much anything Kajai print makes, I want to print. <laughs> he makes some of the really cool models out there. Um, but here, we do some close-up views. Beautiful model. I kind of expected a couple of um, lack of support overhang issues, but they, the printer handled that surprisingly well. You can see a little gap there, a couple little gaps along the top here, where I really needed to like triple the infill, but there was no practical way to add that infill without going to two kilograms of plastic, and it came out surprisingly well. You see the little bit of filament I have left on there is all that's left of that roll. <laughs> Maybe enough to do a, a Benchy, a Marvin, and a couple little vases. Very, very pretty. I seriously like this filament. I love this model, so I love that I have a really nice large one to keep on display. This is probably a model I'll keep just because it looks beautiful. I will probably try my hand at doing a tiny bit of painting, a little shadow in the ears, eyes, nose, just to add a tiny bit of detail. Maybe try to thin out some paint and darken up the tails a little bit so they differentiate a little bit from the body. But gorgeous model. Really, really pretty. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is a shorty video just to give you guys a showcase on a model I really enjoyed printing. And how I printed it. Um, 220 degrees Celsius. Again, 0.8 millimeter nozzle. 0.3 millimeter layer height. Nothing variable. Just 4% um, every other direction. Rectilinear infill. 4 or 5%. Um, just enough to keep it under a thousand grams. We got it down to 962 grams and I set it going. And it did great, even the small details here coming to a point, no problem. Tip to the ears, no problem. The printer did a good job. Excellent cooling. The double fan cooling on this printer is very good. Tops are nice. Very little stream, just a little bit when it was doing back and forth for the ears. Um, tip of the nose, very nice. All the detail is retained. I'm really surprised how well this looks at 0 0.8, 0 0.3. Uh, I was expecting a little rougher finish, and it's a shockingly nice finish. You can kind of see the slight roughness in finish here, where the layer lines really stand out, because you're getting to a flat top. And I was expecting the top of the nose to be a lot rougher, but it is surprisingly nice. I mean, you can you can tell there's some layer issues there because of how thick the layers were, but it's surprisingly good. I consider it more than acceptable. I'm pleased with it. I will definitely be ordering more of this filament. 
Um, good job, CC Tree, on this filament. They also have it in gray. I really do hope you guys will release more colors of the sparkling filament. I really like the idea of matching the color of the glitter with the color of the filament. So blue glitter for the blue filament. It has a really nice, subtle, texturizing look to it that I like. I would like to see more of that. So hopefully we'll get some green, yellow, pink, purple, stuff like that. Bright colors, nice colors. You know, this is a, a beautiful blue. I really like that. So that's it. You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.